Stop losing your clients. Have you ever had a friend forget you were an agent? Have you had a family member forget you were an agent? It's happening all the time. I can see it in the data. Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Justin Kraut. Welcome to Corporate Marketing Guy, where I share proven ways to build your real estate brand like the pros. I've recently left the corporate world and I've been coaching real estate agents on how to build their brand. And I'm learning a lot about your world. I'm always thinking about what if I could take my Mr. Coffee team and take you into that environment and help build your brand. And the first thing I've been doing is trying to understand the market dynamics that you're competing in. So I wanna compare coffee makers to real estate and help you understand how to think differently about your clients and how to think differently about building those relationships as you build your brand. So let's take a look. So coffee makers versus real estate, what do we have in common? It actually turns out we have a lot in common. So first of all, who is our end customer, our end client? In the coffee maker world, it was a consumer. It was a homeowner. In residential real estate, it's the same person. So first of all, congratulations, you are a brand manager. Our brand was Mr. Coffee or Keurig. Think about any coffee maker brand. Your brand is your agency, could be your name. This is the brand you're building, the one you're creating to create value for your clients. My portfolio was a line of products, coffee makers accessories, like the Mr. Coffee product line. Your portfolio are your listings. It's your community. It's understanding all the dynamics around those communities so you can help serve your clients. My purchase cycle was every five to seven years. In real estate, it's every seven years. There's no coincidence there. A lot of people, when they move, they're actually getting new coffee makers. Here's where things got really interesting for me. If someone bought a Mr. Coffee or a Keurig or some other coffee maker, there's a really good chance they would buy that product again. But maybe 70% of the time they were going back and buying another Mr. Coffee or another Keurig. When you ask that same question to homeowners in the NAR data, it's only 18%. Now that's a really low number. What made that number even more concerning to me is in the same study that says after someone buys a home, right, after they've had that transaction, 91% of buyers said they would definitely or probably use that agent again or recommend them. They would probably use you or recommend you again. But only 18% of them actually do. They say that they had a great experience and they're gonna recommend you, and then only 18% use the agent they previously used. So like, what went wrong? You went from full-on BFF, 91%, they love you, to full-blown Valky mode, perfect strangers. I don't understand that. And I know you could be thinking, hey, Justin, this isn't a fair comparison. The Mr. Coffee machine's on the counter all the time. You're using it all the time. If something goes wrong, I'll go and get another one. Or I could just remind you, you sold them the freaking house. You sold them the counter, the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom, the building, the garage, the land. <laughs> You sold them the biggest investment that they've ever made. I sold them a 20 or $30 coffee maker. Let me show you this in another way. What did we both learn about the consumer in that sale? I learned maybe where they bought the coffee maker, maybe how much they paid. And in some cases I can see what other things they might've bought with it. Maybe they bought coffee with the coffee maker, but I don't know who bought it. I don't know where it is. I don't know if they're using it. I don't know if they gave it as a gift. I have no idea. Here's what you learned. You learned their names, their phone, their email, their addresses, their ages, their birthdays, their income, their home preferences, their personal style, where they're from, their goals, their purchases, cars, mom, dad, you probably met grandma, <laughs> pets. You learned so much about these clients. There's no comparison. This is a marketer's dream. This is an advertiser's dream. I believe when we sold the coffee maker, that is a transaction. We're just a manufacturer. This is just a household brand they have in their home. When you sold them that property, you built a relationship. You were their personal real estate shopper. You became this ambassador to the community. This is the R and CRM. Think about everything you invested in that relationship and think about how much further along you would be if they asked you to work with them again, if they remembered that you were their agent or if you had continued to stay in touch. What I'm showing you here is the sea of sameness. When I learned everything about Mr. Coffee, when I was getting up to speed in that category, this was one of our biggest challenges because every coffee maker kind of looks the same. They're black and silver and they all kind of do the same thing. For a lot of homeowners, every real estate agent kind of does the same thing. They're all kind of interchangeable. I don't remember who the agent was that I had, but you know, I can find another one. Just give me a recommendation. Can someone tell me who to use? You are a brand manager, right? You're a brand manager and your job is not to get lost in this sea of sameness. And the way you do that is by building and strengthening and amplifying your real estate brand. 
And part of this is just understanding that there's four main challenges or main objectives that you have to navigate as you build your brand. Acquisition, so you're capturing the clients that you want most. That's your first goal. And then the next big challenge, it appears, is retaining them. It's keeping the clients that you already have by investing in the relationship. Think about how much you know about that homeowner now and think about how many different ways to add value. The power of keeping that relationship is that you wanna transform these happy clients into the influencers your ambassadors. So they're gonna keep you top of mind. They're gonna bring you up in conversations. And that's your ultimate goal, is staying top of mind. And you'll do that through your clients, you'll do that through partnerships, and you'll do that through proactively activating your brand. Let me just leave you with this. These aren't just clients, these are relationships. You've become that client's personal real estate shopper. You know everything about them. You've become the ambassador to their community. You've introduced them to a certain area in most cases. Continue to find ways to add value to that relationship. So if you found value in this content, please like the video, subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when I launch a new video, and check out the Brand Building Fundamentals if you haven't to learn more about building a strong brand. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.